Hello, I'm Kylie Paul with Defenders of Wildlife as a Rockies and Plains representative. I'm here today in the Bitterroot National Forest, which is on the border of Idaho and Montana. And this forest, the Bitterroot, is home to many of our nation's imperiled species like wolverines, fishers, and Canada lynx. So we don't have a lot of data on these animals, in part because they're very rare. Also in part because they live in really remote areas and so gathering information on them is quite difficult. And that's why we created a program called Wolverine Watchers. This program um, gathers information on critters like wolverines, fishers, and lynx with stations that we've put up. We've got about 23 stations in the Bitterroot. And the beauty of this program is that we are using volunteers to help set up these stations and to gather that information. The types of data what we're collecting are genetic data through the use of hair snares and also photographic data through the use of camera traps. <laughs> we need more information about these species to better understand their habitat requirements and threats to their survival. Too often, land managers end up having to make land management decisions where these species live without knowing enough how those decisions will actually affect the animals. Gathering data, especially on these animals, can be really time consuming, it can be expensive. And so having 150 fantastic volunteers taking their time and effort and energy to put forth to, for one, actually go have fun in the woods, but also to help collect information has been a really great experience and it's a strong model that we do hope others will replicate.